So a few years back, I wrote this song. I had to play this gig out on Lake Schaefer, and it's a big Jimmy Buffett party. And I got this brother. He's a wild man. My brother is. Where is he? He's not here right now. But anybody that knows my brother knows he's a wild man, and he doesn't even try to hide it. And. Uh, I'm trying to get it. If he were here, I'd right, take off for sure, I promise. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I mean, he's my brother, though, and I love him. And, you know, that's just the way it goes. See, everybody's down. He's a designated driver to get here. So I'd be next to Mike with my brother. So I bought this parrot. I bought this parrot, and on my microphone stand, you'll see I get stuff from people everywhere I go. They hand me this stuff, and sometimes it's cool enough I hang it on my microphone stand. Well, I had this parrot I got. And I, I set it up right here on my mic stand. And every time I would set it up there and I'd start playing, it would fall over upside down. And every time I did it, it, it was upside down, but it was looking right at me and it had a smile on its face. And it kind of pissed me off. So I, I kept standing it up and kept falling down. So I pack up all my stuff to come up here to Oakdale to play that night, um, that summer, a couple summers ago. And uh, I'm at my cabin, and I'm putting all my stuff in the truck, and I hadn't shaved in a week, and I had my hair all wigged up. I've got an afro, in case you don't know. I mean, my hair goes out to me. And it hadn't been cut forever, so I just kind of threw a bandana on my head. I shaved in the truck mirror because I have no running water at my cabin. And uh, my brother comes traipsing up the hill. He was sleeping in my hammock down below by the lake, and he'd been out drinking the night before. So he had a lot of liquid in his body. And uh, when he starts talking to me, he's looking at me this way, and it looked normal. He was in cut-off shorts, no shirt, no shoes. The real short cut-off shorts. And he's looking at me, he's got this long hair. He looks at me, and he's talking, and I'm thinking about other things. And he turns around and, and looks at me, and he's got the hammock, exact form of the hammock, all down his whole body, all the way from toe to head. What good. So I put that story and this upside down damn parrot together and I wrote this silly song to go play at this uh, Jimmy Buffett party. Somebody filmed me playing it and they put it on the internet. And like two days later I got 300 emails and another day later I had 400. It just kept getting bigger. So I made a little video of me playing a song just in my basement and uh, put pictures of all these people from all these concerts. They were sending me pictures. I started putting them in this video and I put it back on the internet. And the next thing you know, I was kind of famous within the Parrothead Network for this song. And I'm telling you, it's a silly ass song. And uh, it's by far the most requested song I ever play, and it's the silliest song I think I've ever written. It's about going to the Jimmy Buffett concert, passing out the hammock next to your car, waking up the next day, and you can't find your shoes. And, and there's other things. And I'm, you're going to hear about all this stuff. I, I, you lost all kinds of stuff, but it's a funny story. And uh, it's kind of a takeoff of Jimmy Buffett's song. You all know Margarita, though, right? And in Margaritaville, he talks about this tattoo that he got. So I have a little story about the tattoo in my song. Right? Taken off of Jimmy Buffett. Well, I didn't have any clue how important that was going to be in my life. Because this song right here changed my whole life. If I can remember the words. Now me and my buddies were hanging out at our favorite place in our hometown. Right here at Oakdale. The bartender said Jimmy's coming in July. So I started early making my plans. I organized a parrothead caravan. Cars, buses, trucks, minivans, RVs, and a semi. We had jello shots, margarita mix, and land shark beer. String bikinis, grass skirts, and coconut preserves. Guy with the big rig brought all on the sun. We had hammocks strung out between the cars. Burgers and shrimp on the grill behind the tiki bar. We even had our very own tropical rock band. Later that night we all went to the 
show. Some folks got drunk and some got stoned. As for me, well, I do believe that I got bold. Yeah. It must have been that secondhand smoke. Like a drunken parrot hanging upside down. Got my tail in the air and my beak on the ground. Crawling out of my hammock in the afternoon. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Have a little fun, no, it ain't no sin. A man in my condition ought to change his tune. I got the day after the Jimmy Buffett concert, drunken parrothead blues. Now I've been known to get a little bit crazy. When it comes to a party, man, I'm sure not lazy. But maybe I had a little too much fun last night. Drunken parrothead 